Goodly morning and welcome back. Today we are going out to sea to dive for some sea grapes or as they call it in Fijian the Nama. And uh, usually um, the women, the village women, they go out at sea uh, during the week, um, like today, Thursday, and then on Saturday they go into the um, local market and sell the sea grapes. So this is one of the way the villagers uh, they can earn some money. And um, I'm gonna follow them today and see how it goes. So um, here we have my uncle and his wife, Auntie, Auntie Els, and my uncle, Uncle Cow, the coolest guy in the and village. Uncle <laughs> and uh, if you can see further up, in the far distance, there's another boat over there um, with the uh, other woman from the uh, village. And I don't know exactly where we are gonna go and die for the sea grapes. Um, but um, let's see. Hey, you be? Maybe we can do that in a moment. Okay, so we're gonna go over there and dive for the sea grapes. So um, we're gonna fo follow how they dive for the sea grapes and how they process it, clean it, and then we're gonna head out to the market with them, to the, to the local market. Um, on Saturday to um, to show how they sell the uh, sea grapes and it's one of the um, the popular uh, foods uh, you can uh, you can sell people they love sea grapes um, and uh, for my own experience tasting it it's really really good so um, I understand why people they uh, fight over these uh, sea grapes when they uh, when they want to buy it. And my uncle, he doesn't want to waste time when he makes wants to make money. See, as soon as he it's morning, he's out here in the sea in the boat and the breakfast in the boat too while he's going to dive for sea grapes. <laughs> That's what I call an entrepreneur. And he's also the richest guy in the village. <laughs> so I got my diving mask. Uh, I don't know what else uh, that I need, but uh, hopefully that's uh, enough uh, for me at least to see underwater because my eyes is shit. So let's hope I can take some uh, good pictures or good videos so I can show you people how it's done. just arrived to Yenuda Island and we're gonna wait for another woman to come so we can finally go and die for the sea grapes and um, Yenuda, Yenuda Levu Island is um, this village there and uh, this is actually um, the original village our original village um, which come. you can see in the far distance over there the church uh, back in the day when um, during the uh, the war times and uh, where people used to eat each other um, this is where uh, our village first settled and until the island became too small 
then um, some of the uh, villages they moved uh, to to Muturiki Island to um, and settled for the uh, new village there called Nashiriba and now today called Nabuti village so this is uh, where um, our people originated from from this island from this village so today it's like we are one village um, divided in two one on this island and one on the main island of Motoriki. Now we have more village women coming See, in the far distance. <laughs> and we have a little kid also joining us. And, uh, Good morning. Good morning. <laughs> this baby is the best sea grip diver. And off we go. Time to dive for some secrets. Yellow. <laughs> Okay, people, we have arrived to the place where we got to dive for some sea grapes. Look. Look at this clear water. And um, time to get in the water and see what we can find. So, people, I'm in the water now. I got to see all the women. You see all the women here diving for sea cucumbers. case on so if you can't hear me properly that's why and we, if you go down other water we can see the sea grapes all over the place Look. like this you see the small grapes and uh, this is what you can eat you eat it raw you don't need to cook it you can just take it clean it and then uh, eat it so I'm gonna try to find some other village women to see their technique
See people, that's the sea grapes. And then you put it into the brown bag. And then you keep on going until the bag is full. Thank you. And people, what do you dive for? Uh, wait, wait. Uh, uh, I didn't know why I forgot to take off my mask. When you dive for sea grapes, at least you have the view with you. Look, look at this. And the water also, it's so, so clear, man. It's so amazing. So where we are standing now, it's where, um, the, um, where the reefs is at. And you can see the waves behind me. I hope you can see it. That's where the, um, that's where the reef ends and uh, the big sea begins. So, uh, good thing, always try to stay inside here, not outside there. There are many secrets all over the place, so um, it's easy just to go and pick them up. And you can see why a lot of women uh, have come today. This is like an uh, I wouldn't say easy way for them to to earn some money, but uh, when there is a lot and the demand is so high, why not take advantage of it? You know, so. Um, this is just uh, one thing I wanted to show you about the um, the uh, village life uh, that the women uh, go through in order to uh, put food on the table for their families and uh, kids. Okay, let's check out my cousin and uh, see how she's uh, doing. Um, dying after sea grapes. Now the sun has begun to shine, I mean come out, the uh, clouds are beginning to go away and um, it's lovely, lovely weather but again it's pretty hard work um, diving at the sea grapes. You're out here the whole day and then when you get back in the afternoon to the village you have to start to clean it and process it. Uh, so you can sell it on Saturday so uh, we still have a long way to go a few hours out at sea um, we're gonna wait for the tide to come back um, and then we're gonna go back to the village so imagine they're gonna spend a few hours in the sea and just diving after uh, sea grapes and um, you know 
personally, I can already feel the cold and also I was shot and you know, it's uh, I really have respect for the uh, women and uh, the men that are helping their wives uh, diving for sea grapes. Um, have a huge amount of respect for them that they go through this just to make uh, a living and put food on the table uh, for their kids and families. So people, I am on the boat again just to catch a little break to get some sun on my body because I was freezing a bit in the water and you can see here my auntie just came back with uh, one of her bags that she filled up with the sea grapes as you can see here I don't know. over there and you can see you can see the sea grapes here see and this is what you gonna eat Hopefully, I can get some of her and then um, I will show you how the Fijians, they eat it, but not now. Mm -hmm. <laughs> 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 Come on, Paris. Come on, Paris. Yo, <laughs> Okay, people, everybody's in the boat now, so we're gonna go home finally. So, people, we're gonna make a stop over here in the um, the other village, Yanuda, as you can see right here. And uh, we're gonna wait for the high tide before we go home. So we're gonna have some lunch, some sea grapes, and hopefully it will taste good. I mean, I've tasted it before, it's good. So people, now I'm gonna um, go to the village, or as I say, the original. The original village where 
all the people from our village came from so this is the original village Yanutha okay people we are here we are in the village in Yanutha village and you can see the first house is the church the first building right here let's go check out the um the rest of the village i think timothy is here usually if he's not at our village he's usually here so um as you can see right here still low tide but uh, it's getting high tide and when it gets high tide the water comes through here and all this area it's gonna be covered by water and um, this is the village church and let's go check out the rest of the village Bula. 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 After my uncle. <laughs> and uh here's usually where I stay if I come to this village, this house. This house or that house over there. Hey, <laughs> <laughs> Okay, people, we are on our way to the farm, me and my uncle, uh, because we heard from the other villagers that uh, Chimodi is um, is at his farm. So we're just gonna check the farm out and see how his farm looks like. people I don't know if you can hear Timothy and the others they are down here at his farm but you can see the view from here you can actually see Motoriki Island and the village of Nabuti where we uh, we live see over in the far distance over there that's Nabuti and uh, let's go and check out Timothy's farm Oh, 
Iya. Ada stem loh. Bulu. Huu, aku wah, saya sendiri. Tapi nggak dulu cuci loh. Hah? Tapi nggak dulu cuci loh. Iya, ada sini. Oh, ini. 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 Ada belum? Oh, oh, nggak belum aku. Kita jadi cuci loh. Oh, siapa anda kemana? Rohman dan Rohman dia kan. Ya, air tak tahu kan darah kulit. Menukum, isa. Kamu kamu kamu. Well, all worth it. Eh? Tapi kau kena juice, powered. Ya lewat. So people since I've been in the farm, they made the uh, sea grapes with tomato and uh, tin fish and tuna, and then you have the bananas brother right here. <laughs> as a side dish and now i'm gonna taste the fresh sea grapes really really good the sea grapes is crunchy but um salty <coughs> and uh, it goes really well with tomato yeah. and usually there's onion too but i don't I think we ran out of onion but it's really really nice this is the mastermind behind the dish <laughs> Mm. And now let's try the Labor. Let's try the bananas brother. <laughs> the banana plant thing. Mmm. Very, very good. Okay, people, I'm gonna eat and then I'll continue the vlog. Good morning, good morning. And um, today is Saturday, and uh, this is the day where uh, people, uh, mostly the women, in the village they go to the local market to sell their crops or the sea grapes as um, we were out diving for uh, on Thursday and you can see here my um, auntie law is cleaning the sea grapes um, so she can sell it at the local market she's cleaning it in water and uh, clean seawater sea water. so she is cleaning the uh, sea grapes as you can see here in sea water and you can see th those are the clean sea grapes well ready to eat my auntie is the richest woman in the village <laughs> Hey, more the kids. Hi, you go on a break. There. Okay, we have a problem with the engine. Engine malfunction. <laughs> so some of the other women that were out diving for sea, for sea grapes. 
they already went with the boat and uh, I don't know if you can see it but on the far distance you can see the boat and um, we're gonna meet them all in Levuka town where the local local market is um, is located at and uh, when we come there we're gonna show you how they are um, gonna sell the secrets and uh, what other stuff they sell there so let's go Yalla Habibi On we go and this is the captain today Ah! Sulianas <laughs> Caravanuas I didn't actually film the process how to clean it but um Thank God my auntie Lord did it today so I could show you how it's done. <laughs> this is Makarets, Matavis and Selai Bui. So people, we have arrived to Nangele and this is where we're gonna be dropped off and we're gonna take a lorry to Lebuka town and you can see there's already a boat as I was talking about yeah. and um, you can see the other village women that came with that boat and we're gonna take the big lorry or carrier as they say it um, to Lebuka town where we're gonna sell the crops and sea grapes that um, we brought from the village and at sea and you can see here like this taro right there that is also one of the things that um, they're gonna sell at the market <laughs> now the people from Ravuti going to the market to sell some fish Ro ro, that's a palisami, eh? The taro, cabbage, what you love? Nama, the seafood. And what else? Oh, coconut, cabbage, and the uh, leaves for covering the nama. That's all. No, how can you go? And she's gone. No, it's wrong. I saw someone. Register now for the Rokouli. <laughs> so people, we're just gonna wait for the lorry to arrive and then we're gonna drive to Levuka town and you can see here the road conditions when we are it, selling the market you take a picture of me I'm telling the Nama and the tell a story about it yeah okay thank you <laughs> <laughs> So now the lorry has arrived, or as they call it, the carrier, and you can see it can carry a lot of people and it can carry a lot of stuff. I hope we all can be in there since full. Um, I don't know. Wait. 
And we are on our way to Levuka town. See you there. <laughs> and you can see the road conditions. Horrible, horrible. Fiji Road Authority, do your job. <laughs> People, we have arrived to Lebuka town and this is where they're gonna sell their crops and um, the sea grapes and um, they're just getting off now and you can and you can see the market the local market here lining up here in the green pants look all the way down there at the end and you can see here my auntie Eleanor's. She's already lining up her gingers. How much for the ginger? $2.50. $2.50 for one. Good price, special price for you. And this is the sea grapes. And how much for the sea grapes? $4. Four dollar for the sea grapes. And you can see it's been cleaned. It's just ready to be uh, Bought and uh, <laughs> it's ready to be bought. As you can see here, people are lining up to buy the things that the village woman have brought from the village. And um, the uh, woman that comes to sell is um, from Motoriki Island, and um, also some of them are from um, from Island. So you can see here, like um, where I'm standing at, it's the area where the uh, women from um, Motoriki Island sell and uh, further down further down that way is where um, the women from uh, the other villages uh, in Ovalau Island sell their their crops or vegetables or, or, or coconuts and other stuff like that and you can see here this lady is selling her cabbage Press cabbage. Have you done new? Five dollar. Five dollar. Russell, you bought all too. Hey, what's your name? And yeah, people, this is just um, 
one of the way that uh, the what village women goes through in order to just uh, makes make a little living so they can put food on the table and um, I spoke to some of the women they say um, that uh, they just want to just make enough so they can buy some tea and sugar for the next week wow so um, just think about that and uh, with all the, all the uh, prices increasing everywhere in the world and also here in Fiji um, they um, have to uh, work even harder in, in order to just uh, you know make some money to uh, buy the tea and um, sugar <laughs> So people, the time is almost half past seven and uh, the women, village women, they have to wake up early in order to be here uh, and set up before the shops and supermarkets open and uh, that's where uh, people from other villages are gonna come to town and you can see uh, many shops are still closed right now and um, some of them is just beginning to open up so um, yeah I got early up today because uh, I had to go with them Tabe and the Cora, three dollars for her Cora. Oh, I'm selling the. 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 Oh, i and four dollars for the nama. Government can go. Kora. K O R A. Kora. Koras. Where is Kora? Now, who is going to get the money? And uh, the Kora, you mix it with the nama or the sea grapes, and um, it tastes really, really good. Um, the smell of it, not so much. But the taste, yes, it's good. My kid is not small. What? This one? Yeah. Set. We just go together and get one. Eighty dollars. Eighty dollars for this. Yeah. I'm taking it. <laughs> I'm just. I just want to help uh, help um, people, my relatives from Montenegro. Yeah. Oh, thank you very much for buying the crab in the market. <laughs> Welcome you. I'm from I'm from Nukutoya village. Oh, I'm from Tailevu. I'm married okay. in Nukutoya village. Oh, that's good. Oh, thank you. It's good. Yes. 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 So some this lady is uh, buying the sea grapes. Now, 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 Tutok ang English matagal. Kung nakabalo matanggali na viva di mo. Thank you very much for buying the 
Okay. Next week again, you come back to see. Okay. Uh, not me. Her. Okay, thank you. <laughs> okay, gari, fish. Gari. It's the gari for, for Sunday. And the fish. So, last Sunday here. Thank you very much, Maduriki. Thank you very much. Appreciate everything for providing for the people of Ovalo. Minaka. See you next time. Modi. So, people, the time is now a little bit over quarter past nine. And you can see here the shops are open and people are beginning to come into the town. And uh, let's go and have a look what they have down here at the other markets. Some cabbage, some more bananas, brother. And we have mango too there. And we have some pumpkin right here. Some more coconuts. And uh, my favorite place to have tea in Lebuka. Right here. The best place to have tea in Lebuka town. If you come, remember to find this lady here. She makes the best tea in the whole of Fiji. Wow. And it's free, it's free. And she also makes the best pie in Fiji, also for free. <laughs> Peanuts, the peanuts and uh, condensed. condensed milk. milk. <laughs> condensed milk and peanuts to make it crunch. It's really good. Every Saturday when I come here, this is where I have uh, tea. So the cup of tea is two dollars, two Fijian dollars, and the pie. Yes, two dollar two. So four dollar, you'll get breakfast, Every and you'll breakfast. get get full stomach too for four dollars. Think about it, cheap, cheap price, full stomach. Let us taste the pie now. I already tasted it before, but uh, I'm just gonna try to describe how it tastes. Mm. Okay, let's go. Let's go. Wow, it's really good. The condensed milk is um, fluffy and it mix well with the dough milk and then you have the peanut on top to make the uh, pie crunchy when you eat it. Yeah. Really good. And of course, it's sweet too. Mm. Taste the tea or coffee. 
but here in Fiji tea coffee it's the they call it tea but uh, it is coffee okay you can taste the coffee and the milk and um, the sugar and again I'm gonna say it again Fijians love their sugar it's the uh, most important ingredient in coffee coffee is number two <laughs> but um it's really good and uh, this lovely lady here she's here every day from Monday to Saturday look, wow. look at that $100 Look at this Fresh Look at this big mud crab man Hundred dollars Crazy And people here are crazy about mud crabs you know when the people sell it at the local market, it goes so fast. So people, that's what the village women from our village and Motorik Island, they go through every single week uh, in order to um, just make a living and put food on the table for the kids and families. And uh, I just want uh, you people to, to see and follow their journey. Uh, uh, every week um, from uh, when they are out there diving for sea grapes and uh, all the way from their transport to the um, to Libuka town and uh, when they started to sell um, their crops and uh, fruits and uh, vegetables and sea grapes just put food on the table for their families okay people that's it for today um, until next time, Enough.